Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hey, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and I just thought I'd throw out today one of Paul's pearls. This is something that I've uh, basically made up myself, learned over the years to be a, a really good way to identify if somebody has a bicep rupture. Now with somebody like Brian here, it's going to be easier to identify if he has a bicep rupture, but there are a lot of people that may have maybe a little too much adipose uh, over that part of their arm and it's hard to see this quote unquote Popeye muscle that uh, everybody identifies with bicep ruptures. Um, two things, proximal bicep ruptures, we don't worry too much about that. Distal bicep ruptures, that's a different story. Those people who you identify as a distal bicep rupture, uh, we need to ex expedite a visit to uh, the orthopedist because those need to be repaired sooner than proximals, okay? The proximal you can do without because there are two heads and the short head is mechanically efficient and almost never tears, attaches at the coracoid process and um, it can still, still help with bicep uh, or elbow flexion and supination, all right? so. You know, typically you'll see bruising in the arm and um, a Popeye muscle. So if you want to try to identify if one is worse than the other, you can have them do the Ludington test, which is a special test uh, for the biceps. So I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna demonstrate that now. So Brian, you're gonna go ahead and flex both biceps. We look for asymmetry between the two biceps to see if one is bunched up more than the other. Go ahead and rest. I don't find that to be a great test because people acutely don't like to get up into this position because they do get a little impingement. They have some um, irritation and inflammation in the shoulder, so it's kind of uncomfortable for them. Um, so the way I like to test if somebody has a bicep problem is this. You bring them over to this position and you have them hold in neutral. Now I'm going to try to pronate the wrist, okay, because remember the bicep is a supinator and some books will say it's a major supinator more than an elbow flexor. Other books will say vice versa. But I really find the best way to test a bicep is to resist supination. So I'm resisting his supination and then I grab a hold of the bicep muscle and I try to move it side to side. Okay, if I were to go to this side and he had a perfect bicep on this side and go ahead and resist me, I would not be able to move the bicep. Okay, but if he had a rupture on this side, now don't give me any resistance now, okay? I would be able to take the bicep muscle and move it all over the place, okay? So if you want to see a positive test of this with a real patient, go to our YouTube channel at OrthoEvalPal, check it out. This gentleman has a huge bicep rupture. Now, to help identify if it is proximal or distal, you're going to want to take a look at where the Popeye muscle is, okay? So if the muscle belly is elevated up here a little higher, it's more likely to be a distal rupture, okay? If it's down lower, it's more apt to be a proximal rupture of the long head of the biceps. One way to identify if a person has a distal biceps is to do this. I'm going to have you go like this and look at your hand. Then I want you to take your index finger on the other hand and I want you to put it right in here. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And basically what happens is you should be able to put your finger right into and hook that bicep. If somebody has a distal bicep rupture, you cannot feel that. You can't hook that tendon very well, all right? So this is a great little test to see if somebody has a distal bicep rupture. Thanks, Brian, you can rest. Thanks. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.